I am Bernadette with Solon TV. We are here in Honolulu, Hawaii for the Rockstar Energy Drink Inked Up World Tour. Incredible Carlos Torres. What did you go Hawaii? Come on. What is... Kind of want to stay, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm opening up a shop next week. <laughs> Fuck, I'm never coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been working on this weekend tattoo-wise? I got the tattoo snowboarder from Rockstar Energy. Did a real cool Captain Hook uh, portrait. Came out amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, two days on uh, this back piece I've been working on. Yeah. How's that coming along? Hey, I'm gonna have to come back and forth. Another excuse to come. Gotta come back to Hawaii. Oh, it's just all in TV. You're gonna miss out on that one. <laughs> How does it feel to be part of our Rockstar Energy Ink Tip tour? It's awesome. I'm so honored to be uh, even chosen, or you know, be have my face up there with those guys. You know, I'm like bow down like you're I, amazing you guys shouldn't even have me here like oh shut up I should be bringing the boxes in or oh, something like up. that <laughs> how did you come up with your can art uh it just kind of I, I guess like it, it, what I'm typically or people label like the the filigree stuff so I figured I would just kind of stick to you know what I do and hot chick looks really good. like who doesn't like that right <laughs> if you were not a tattoo artist what job would you have I'd probably be working back at the airport. Airport? <laughs> yeah, I started at the airport. Are you TSA? Yeah, I used, no, I used to put gas in the airplanes. Oh, shoot. You better be careful, don't mess with me. <laughs> you won't make it home. <laughs> Short shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Yes. <laughs> With Mike Tabriz, what do you think of Hawaii this year? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Have you been tattooing all weekend? I did one on Friday, Saturday, and I'm taking today off to go enjoy Hawaii. Tell me what it is about photorealism that you enjoy doing so much. Well, a lot of people think that I'm the realistic guy, you know, but I kind of don't think I am because I do a lot of different things, but people just think Mike Tabriz, oh, realism, but. Because you're amazing at it. Well, thank you. Um, I'm, I, I call it more like realistic-ish because I don't try and copy the picture identical. I just kind of get it for like a base or the structure, you know, and then just kind of make up my own as I do it. You know what I mean? So it's not like I'm trying to copy it identical like a lot of these people do, which I don't hate on that, you know, because everybody has their own style, which I don't hate on any style. But when people say that I'm realistic, it's eh. You want to be called photorealistic-ish? Realistic-ish. Realistic-ish. Mike DeVries. How important do you think outlines are to tattoos? Well, how much time do we have? <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, it's all the same. It's equal. Outline or not outline, it's just you got to have the right contrast levels. But I actually don't appreciate the people that hate on realism that doesn't have a black outline. They really outline. do hate. They hate on it. But I don't hate on them, so why are they hating on us? Quit hating. It's true. It's true. I mean, it's, it's all it's all art. Appreciate the art. I mean, it, you know, it's a long story. I think it's equal. I think it is too. As long as it's good art, who gives a exactly. Who cares? Thank you, Mike Caprice. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm here with Bernie. Uh, what are you uh, working on right now? Right now we're doing a little black and gray rose with uh, some little water drops. And I'm adding to this uh, portrait I did last night. That's beautiful. Thank you. And you won an award as well on Friday, right? Tell us about it. Saturday uh, we entered um, uh, Elephant for uh, Realistic and it took first place and uh, very, um, very honored to, to get that, you know? Didn't you do a Jimi Hendrix tattoo too? Yes. Everyone's been talking about it all week. Did you see that Jimmy Hendrix? It's on that guy, actually. What was the hardest thing for you to learn being a tattoo artist? 
Oh man, there's, I don't know, there's a lot, a lot of stuff to learn. I mean, just different techniques and this. It's always evolving, yeah? It's always evolving, always gotta keep up with it, try different machines, trying different inks, and um, it's just always a learning process, so. What's been the best lesson that you've learned in the industry? Oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I'm learning, learned so much, you know, it's just hard to pinpoint certain certain stuff. Well thank you for talking to me. You're a fabulous artist. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys. I'm here with Norm. What do you think of Hawaii? I love Hawaii. You love it? I live here. You, well you live here now so you love it. You miss yeah. California? No. No, I don't miss California. Um, I'm barely in California anyway so if I wherever I am I'd rather come back to Hawaii because it's always beautiful and yeah, the weather's always good, so I got no f***ing complaints, yeah. And you are mainly a script artist. What is it about the script that makes you stick to mainly that? What do you love about it? Well, once you do things, whatever you put out there is what people make you do, so like, um, but I love letters, so any kind of letters, always letters, 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 letters. Yeah, I could travel and do letters for the rest of my life until I'm f***ing dead and I'll still be happy. I don't get sick of it. I don't know what it is. What's the most important lesson you've learned in the industry? Um, that's a crazy question. Work really f***ing hard. Don't stop working. Yeah, yeah. Work really hard and, and, uh, and keep everything like this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, of course. Roman sticky fingers at Brega. <laughs> what do you think of Hawaii? It's beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful things here. Have you been tattooing a bunch this weekend? I did. Uh, I did one tattoo, and then uh, we we're gonna go for two days, and then it got like second day. It was just I don't know. Her skin was kind of sensitive, and I just didn't want to like mess it up. There's a question of the convention this year. <laughs> do you think thick dark black lines are important in a tattoo? Yeah, and no, I don't know. Whatever, whatever looks good, looks good. Art is art. Art is art, and the thing is, it's like, it's, nothing's ever gonna be like, some person's skin's gonna hold something better than other people's skin. If you go in the sun, uh, no matter what tattoo you have, it'll, you can get tribal or whatever, you know what I mean? And then you go out in the sun and it's up. Yeah. So. Nothing lasts forever either. Nothing lasts forever if you it up. You know, if you take care of it, uh, it doesn't matter what, if it's a black line or a portrait or whatever, it's gonna stay, you know? What's the most important thing you've learned in the industry? Just have fun and don't get into politics and stupid shit, you know? I, that's how I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem with anyone. I just tattoo and party. And if people talk shit, whatever, you know? They get knocked that's, out. They get knocked out. <laughs> Thank you, Roman. <laughs> Your shop opening that's going on tonight. Um, well, shit. Okay? <laughs> Mahala. Uh, <laughs> yeah, opening a new shop with Mike Ledger, who is a legendary tattooer from New York City. He's been out here forever, so luckily enough for me, I got blessed with being able to do something with him. So me and him are opening a shop together. Uh, the opening is tonight. It's always, always Hawaii, and um, yeah, I'm super stoked. Like, got a full machine shop. Um, guests are always welcome. We have permanent guest stations, so anybody that wants to come out to Hawaii that wants to work and be welcome to come. It's, it's going to be, uh, it's just a big, good place to make good shit happen. Here's your microphone. <laughs>